I, we're taking a little break from the sawmill and I thought I'd bring y'all back here. I've got a piece of property back here that, along a creek up on a decent sized hill for our area. We worked over here uh, about two days ago, mowed out a spot, cut a little bit. I'm, I gotta cut a lot more. But I'm thinking about putting a little cabin over here in the woods. And the way I've come in here from the sawmill, it's about probably three quarters of a mile from the sawmill along the trail. I can go the way the crow flies and be there a lot quicker, but, but I just thought I'd ride y'all over here and let you see what I work on on my off time a little bit. I don't know if I want to stick build a building over here. I mean, I should. I've got plenty of wood, but it. It would be quicker if I could get me a, like a storage shed or something delivered up in here and I could just finish it the way I want it. Make a hard left right here. Go down in there. This is where we worked about two days ago in here cleaning this out. I'd always had a little trail down through here but it got full of weeds like that mess. No hedges over there. And I don't know if you can see it. There's some five gallon buckets down in there. And if you can see the lay of the land, there's like a gully right in there. It's actually a natural spring right there and it runs about four gallons a minute. Then we got straight ahead on up there over the hill where I want to build but out here in the middle of a hundred acre track of timber there's a big mound of rock that's been piled up and there's a big pile over there I don't know if it used to be a, a field here and that's where they picked up the rock and just piled them or if there's an old home place here but it's been in my family since the early 1900s like 19... 15 or somewhere in that area. Oh. All right, you want to I got some poplars cut down up here that I was going to open up the area a little bit and I run out of saw gas. We'll, we'll go a little ways right here. Right about where I cut those stumps off about knee high. I left them high because I was gonna bring the skid steer over here and see if I could roll them up out of the ground. We'll walk down here for a piece. And I'll probably cut these up and stack them up here beside a tree somewhere. We'll burn them in a fire pit or something. But yeah, I'll cut one, two, three, four. Little snag back there I cut. I'm gonna cut everything out back to that bigger pine right there and I'll probably do almost the same thing over here I'll cut out a little bit of that old scrubby undergrowth and right about where we're standing is where I'll, I'll build or have something built but I don't know if you can tell from the camera or not but it's, it's pretty steep right there for central North Carolina I mean it's I walked up and down this hill two or three times the other day and I was give out. And you can't see the creek down there for the shrubs, but I'm going to thin some of that out too. But I think it'd be a pretty nice spot back here. You can't hear no traffic. Don't hear the neighbor's dogs the barking or the nothing. Real peaceful back here. Of course, it'd be off grid with no power. I may do some solar. 
but I don't know when I'll have time to get it done, but while we was in here mowing out some trails, I decided we'll go ahead and mow this out. And I'll go ahead and get to working on it, Get at least get it started. If I get it started and see what it could be, that'll persuade me to come over here more often. So we may add some cabin building content to the sawmill page. I know it's a lot of off-grid people on YouTube. I'm new to it. New to off-grid and new to YouTube. So you can't see it now because of these little poplars I cut, but I mowed out a circle. Got a circle drive here. It comes around here. And goes back out to where we just came down at. I just heard somebody with a hammer, so I can hear something back here. I got some cousins that live about a long ways behind me. I'm surprised I can hear them. It was either somebody hammering or Bigfoot knocking on a tree up there. I'm not sure which. I'd rather it be Bigfoot. Yeah, here's my old, old mule that we rode in on. Yeah. Service buggy. And all the way down there is where we came in. The spring is right down there to the right. Here's the other end of our circle. It circles around. And I think it'll be a pretty spot. It probably won't get used much during the summertime just because it'll be so hot over in here. But in the spring and the fall and the winter, I think it'll be really nice. When the sun sets, it sets straight in there, shines right down in here. So we'll see how it goes. I'm thinking about maybe a, if I build it over here, it'll probably be about a 16 by 24 or something like that. I don't want nothing very big. If I buy something, it'll probably be a 12 by 24. And then I may add a room on it after it gets over here. All right, well, I'm gonna shut this down and uh, We'll get back to the sawmill, see if I can't get something done over there. See you in a bit.